Hi guys, it's Lily Bell. Welcome to my channel. Today is Vlogmas Day 4 and today I'm going to do what I'm putting in my stocking stuffers or what my stocking stuffers are to kind of maybe give you an idea of what to put because I know sometimes it's kind of hard. I don't do a ton in the stockings. I just do a few gifts in the stockings, smaller gifts usually. Um, except for my grandsons, sometimes they'll get a bigger stocking stuffer gift <laughs> that don't quite fit in the stocking. There's been actually last year, Tobias had a bucket of toys for his stocking stuffers. But um, this will probably be my last video on anything that we've bought or anything like that because I'm. It's December 4th and I'm pretty much done shopping. I have a couple of gift cards to get. Um, I am almost done com completely with wrapping. I've got like my dog's presents to wrap and that's it. So um, after this, then you're gonna start seeing more, um, I thought maybe some, um, maybe baking cookies or different goodies or maybe some crafts, maybe a day in the life, what we're doing on this holiday season. Um, it's just kind of stuff like that and whatever else I can think of that's fun or um, if we go do something fun. Sometimes we do and sometimes we don't. <laughs> so, you know, who knows? Just <laughs> subscribe and that way you'll know, right? <laughs> okay. So anyway, first I'm going to start with the, the um, furry babies. So my mom has a cat, Leo, and we picked this up at Walmart because look, it's got all kinds of cute toys in it. It's got some catnip, um, just really cute. I mean, it's like five, $5, like $4.98 or something. So we picked that up for Leo. Um, Edward's stocking stuffer is this cute, oh my gosh, is this, I saw this and I could not get it. It is so cute. So they had these for dogs too, but the toys they put in this for dogs, he tears up like super fast, which is not a problem. I don't care that he tears them up. He's a dog, he's gonna do that. The problem is he tends to eat them. So we have to get better made, tougher, um, ooh, I don't want him to hear that tougher toys. I'm gonna kind of put that down for a minute. Make sure you don't come in here. So we have to get, look, I'm hiding stuff from my dog, people. <laughs> okay, so we have to get tougher made toys. And luckily, Black Friday, uh, Menards and um, Home Depot of all places had better made dog toys. So this one, um, got a lot of the tougher, harder to chew stuff. Um, it all, does have a softer body, so this he may get through um, a little quicker than he does the other gift we got him that I'm gonna wrap. Yes, I'm gonna wrap it. And yes, he has his own stocking that this will go into. If it fits, it might be too fat, I don't know. But um, I couldn't, I, I like, this is so cute. I just, I just love it. I think he's so adorable. I wanna say we paid I think around six dollars for it so it's a pretty good deal for a um, sturdier toy usually we pay anywhere from uh, I think the cheapest we got was about 10 or 11 and we've paid up to 20 some odd dollars for a toy because like I said he has to have the better made toys or he eats them like this one I'll have to watch him because it does have some softer like if it was all made of this it takes him longer to get through this stuff but this softer part is what he tends to get through pretty quickly. As long as I pay attention to him, I'll be able to get away from him and throw it away once he gets through it. I'm like just explaining the whole dog issue here. That's okay, you're here for the ride, right? But, um, so we tend to buy him better toys so that, I mean like he eats the stuffing and he'll eat um, mainly the stuffing. He don't even eat the plastic ball inside. He'll chew on it and spit it out, but he'll eat the stuffing and swallow it. <laughs> So we have to make sure, um, I'm very vigilant. I check the toys like on a daily basis. And I have my son, he's programmed. If he sees a rip or a tear in it, he knows to tell me so we can, um, so that I'm just aware that it's being thrown away. Um, but anyway, the Kong toys tend to be really good toys. But this was about six bucks, Black Friday deal um, at Home Depot. And I think, 
I think it's the cutest thing ever. You're gonna love it. Okay, so I'm gonna move on to Nana. Let's get Nana done. So Nana, her poor hands are so, so dry. So she said that the working hands, um, I'm pretty sure she that said this what, what this was. Working hands hand cream. I got this little, this is three ounces. I think it was like almost $6 at Walmart. So I got that to put in there. Um, I found these at Kohl's for like five bucks. They're little kitty cat bag clips. I think they're so cute. I really like, after I saw them, I thought, man, I should have grabbed me a pack, but that's okay. Nana will get a kick out of these. She was, she's, she's, a, she's, a, she's a cat lady. And then she loves Three Musketeers, so got her a king size Three Musketeers. I got her a little stick of Reese's miniature candy. Um, these, I think, were both, like, like this was a dollar, you know, candy rates, a dollar something for the king size. And then we got her a $10 Steak and Shake gift card. Um, so that's Nana. I got those two. Okay, and then I'll move on to um, Justin. Justin is my middle child. He is 24. Um, I got him a stick of candy. I got him kisses. I got him, they had these little farmhouse mini summer sausages and they also had the smooth and sharp little cheeses to go with them. They were like a buck a piece. I think that was a dollar. He loves that stuff. Um, we got him a $10 Steak and Shake gift card. My husband found these 44-piece um, Precision Screwdriver Bits set. So it's like a little, it's like, it's like you can put it in your glove compartment. It's something that you can take with you to always have like a tool. You know, like you're always searching for, you know, you always need it. You don't have it. This is just a little tool just to kind of like fill in that gap if you can't find something. I think these were all of $5 at Walmart. Um, I found these little body sprays. This is a bod body spray. This is a really ripped abs, mm, but it smelled good, so I got that one for him. And 10 Cloverfield Lane. I don't think he has this movie. I know Cloverfield, he likes that movie. This is like the sequel to it. So we got him that. So that was for Justin, our 24-year-old. Thomas, our 25-year-old, he also got a bod spray. And these were, I think I told you before, they were a dollar, um, Walmart. This one's called Most Wanted. We got him a little thing of Lindor, just milk chocolate little can truffle candies or whatever they are. Truffles, yeah. Um, we got him a $10 Steak and Shake gift card. We also got him the handy dandy little mini tool set at Walmart. We got the dollar candy of Reese's. And then he will get one of these measuring tapes and my husband is going to receive the other one in his stocking because a good measuring tape is something everybody needs to have. Um, I did not get one for my middle son because he doesn't do a lot of measuring. Uh, my older son and my husband will use these a lot. Um, my middle son, I didn't think he would, I don't know, I just didn't think so, think he would use it that much so I didn't get another one. This was a two pack. This was at I want to say it was Home Depot and I want to say it was $15 so it's seven dollars I mean these things are heavy these are really nice these are DeWalt um, DeWalt yeah, DeWalt um, very nice very nice measuring tapes all right so that was for my 25 year old my um, 25 year old son Thomas is married to Megan and she's 24 20 24 um, we got her a Kisses candy and a Lint Truffles. We got her a $10 Steak and Shake gift card. Um, she has been complimenting me a lot on my lipstick, so I hope she really does like it because I got her one. And these lipsticks are awesome. Um, this color is very pretty, especially when you put it on. It's kind of more of a bold color, but it's not like Bam! You know, it's just like a pretty bold color. It's called, let me look, here we go, Blossom Berry. And it's the number, it's 
I don't know if it's, it's 555 is the number on it, Blossomberry. Um, it's it's um, Outlast, Outlast All Day Lip Color. Lip all day, it lasts all day. I can't get that out for some reason, good lord. Um, and it does last all day. I am not kidding you. <laughs> I can put this on in the morning. Me and my husband will go run errands all day long. I'll forget I have this on. I'll come home and my lips are still pretty. I mean, they're not as pretty as when I first put it on, um, but they're still nice. I mean, it's just nice. And after it like sets on your lips, um, like I can drink and kiss, kiss my husband and drink coffee and stuff and look, it doesn't transfer onto whatever. It's a really weird sound. I think someone that might've had a flat tire maybe outside. I don't know. But anyway, um, good lipstick. I'm just dwelling on it, but this is just a really good lipstick. Okay. And then I also found her a little dollar <laughs> dog just went by, um, sugar and spice and it just smelled good, so I just got that for her. And then I got her a really pretty mug. Um, I think this is so pretty. It's one of the Pioneer Woman's, but it's just flowery and I don't know, it's big, it's a good size, and it's just so pretty. And I, went, I, I paid under $5 for that, so I don't spend a ton. Um, oh, this movie was like in the $4 movie bin. Forgot to mention that. I don't spend a ton on the Christmas stockings, but I do spend a little bit, you know. Um, I used to get her to buy really cheap stuff, but then, I mean, it falls apart, it doesn't last, so now I try to get just a couple of, like, you know, um, Thomas is getting these two things, which, you know, they're not the most expensive things, but they're little handy things that he'll actually use. Um, just, you know, stuff that that's useful yet fun. Um, this hand cream isn't the cheapest I know I'm just digging at my ear my ear is itchy I'm sorry um, y'all know oh you know I don't think I've ever said anything on this channel I don't know if I have I have allergies uh, skin allergies and sometimes I have flare-ups and so my ear was a little itchy because it's it's an allergy thing I may cut that out <laughs> I think I'm gonna cut that part out we'll just go so this stuff is um, not always the cheapest thing so that's just a nice thing to get in your stocking to get a little extra caught up there okay so now I'm gonna move on to my grandsons so for Tobias he got this bowling set yeah that's kind of a big stocking stuffer that's more of um, something most people would wrap um, but we're calling it a stocking stuffer cuz poppy picked it out he thought he would like it um, we went to I went to his little preschool grandparents day <clears throat> and they had a bowling game set up and he loved it so we're gonna be playing some bowling and then and that was like I said it was under it was like five bucks maybe a little under and I think that was Menards that was a Mar Menards thing this is a Melissa and Doug on the go vehicle water reveal pad so you just put a little water in this paintbrush thingy um, and it's like a little paintbrush on there and then they can all they got to do is just wipe it over here and it makes it colorful and there's several pages and when it dries it dries clear and they can do it all over again I just thought that was kind of neat um, I think he'll enjoy that that was at Home Depot Home Depot for like 250 and then we got him Hot Wheels because he loves Hot Wheels so we got him four Hot Wheels and these were a really good price too at Home Depot. These were like 69 cents a piece, I wanna say. Um, so that's the cheapest I've seen them like, anywhere. So we got him four of those to stick in his stocking. And then he is a super picky eater. There's very little this child eats. So we got the two favorites that I know he'll eat, which is Reese Pieces. And these are just, these are like M&Ms. These are actually Hershey little dot things little candies but they're just like M&M's he'll eat those so that was for Tobias he's three last but certainly not least I'm gonna shift my way over this way was Grayson and Grayson's three months old so there's not a whole lot I couldn't it was really hard with Grayson's stocking and I don't know why that was um, but I found this learning remote really cute um, 
So I found the learning remote. So he'll have fun playing with that. And then I found some Paw Patrol little tiny socks, which I think they'll be too big on him right now, but he'll grow into them. So a little pack of those. A pack of the pacifiers that he likes to use. He likes the uh, MAM pacifiers. And, um, oh, prices. Um, this was under $5. The, these were $5.99 and this was, these were, these were $3.99. And then he, of course, he's way too young to be eating any kind of candy or anything. Um, so I just bought him some pear, some apple, and some peas um, for when he's ready for them. Because, I mean, there really was not a whole lot to buy and I already bought him a pack of bottles um, so that's what we got so I think that's pretty good really good um, everybody will enjoy their stocking stuffers I'm not showing my husband's or mine or my 14 year old son's cuz um, son there's just one son one 14 year old and I will not do if you watched day three <laughs> I did my grandson's um, what we got him for Christmas. I will not be doing that with my son because he will watch this Just to see what he gets. He already told me he would he said mom You better not put my presents on there because I'll watch it. He's very honest that way So um, I did not put his stocking stuffers on here either And of course if you got young children, you don't want them watching this video Because Santa's supposed to bring you the stocking stuffers so um Anyway, so I'll put that in my title and make sure to put, you know, what I got my stocking stuffers so that you guys know that, you know, it's going to be stuff for stocking stuffers. Don't let young children watch. Um, so that's it. That's what we got. Um, the only thing I got left to wrap is we got my dog, a dog bed, a new blanket, and another tougher toy to play with. And that's it for this vlogmas. I hope you guys have a great day. Also, leave comments down below for what you like to put in stockings because everybody needs a little help this time of year, right? So like, comment, and subscribe so you don't miss another episode. And we'll see you next time. Bye.